Gang, top of the motherfucking morning, man. Welcome back, man. Colonel Slaughter University. I hit that like button, man, while y'all in here, gang. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to chop it over with y'all for a little bit. I ain't going to take too much of y'all time, gang. But you already know I appreciate your time, whatever time you give me. Hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, man, it's right at the bottom. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, gang. You won't miss nothing I'm talking about. You feel me? And the thing I talk about is straight from the streets of Milwaukee or, you know, straight from how you living, I'm living, and whatever you probably can relate to and what I experienced. So, you know, fuck with me. Simple as that, gang. Fuck with me. Man, for better or worse, the topic of the day is for better or worse because a lot of people I see right now today, gang, they're, they're, they'll put themselves on the line, they'll put you on the line, put what they love on the line, put everything, you know what I'm saying, they got on the line for better or worse. And nine times out of ten, I guarantee it be for worse. It never really be for better. And if y'all pay attention, you'll, you'll, you'll look around you and you can tell that every motherfucker who risks something, my nigga, for better or worse, it always end up for worse. They always end up with the ugly end of the stick. I ain't, I ain't lying to you. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Come on now. I know it's a little early. Y'all probably tired of a nigga dropping them vids, but gang, I got to keep working. Like I said, y'all know what a nigga talking about. And right there, you can see the potential in a person. Right there, you can see the, the characteristics of a person. You can see, you know, how poor judgment of a human being they making or you can see how uh, optimistic, you know, uh, uh, of a human being they are, or they could be. You will never know until you get that, that chance to a person to hang themselves, show, improve themselves, or, you know, however the case, however you look at a gang, you'll never know. But I'm saying, though, like, for better or worse, if anything, I think you'll want to get up and do or risk anything you're doing in life for better. And the reason I say that is because I know a lot of us fight to get better. I know a lot of us strive and struggle to get more, to receive the things that we feel that are uh, satisfy us in life, gang. Don't get me twisted, I do the same thing. But at the end of the day, it's like, you really got to get up out here and, and make ends meet, my nigga, for better, not for worse. Some of you niggas make ends meet only for worse. And that shit right there is sad. I'm going to tell you now, that's sad. If you got kids, my nigga, that's even worse. If you're a female, that's even better. Because, look, some of you ladies is getting like men now. And some of the men been acting like women. They soft. You know what I'm saying? They too emotional now. Them niggas can't hold water. Like, it's getting wild out here. So it's like, is you niggas changing for better or worse? I'm just saying. And I'm trying to figure out really, though. Because the lane y'all in, I ain't really in. The lane y'all in, I can't be in. You feel me? And I'm, 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 I'm trying to understand where you cats coming from at the end of the day. I'm trying to feel and, you know, understand, like, how y'all moving and operating. Is this the way to be operating? Man, in my eyes, I know it ain't the way to be operating, gang. You niggas funny. You feel me? You niggas is too funny, and y'all move too awkward. You move too awkward, gang. That's all I be saying. Some of you niggas move too awkward, and I think y'all moving awkward for worse. Yeah, I say you moving awkward for worse because, look, gang, what else is you going to do? What else can you do, gang? You know? You don't know nothing else. And if you don't know nothing else, you don't know nothing else to do. You, you get muscle memory. You don't know how to move and operate out here. You probably need a motherfucker to hold your hand, gang. I'm telling you now, you need to stop that right there. Let that shit go. You don't need nobody to hold your hand. You your own man. Like, you your own woman at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Like, take that and strive with it. Some of you niggas, uh, you know, have a situation or, you know, uh, a problem or issue, and y'all will let that stunt your growth. Y'all will let that shit stop you from growing in life, gang. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that you're growing for better. The situation you went through is for better. It was a lesson, not for worse. Some of you niggas take that situation and you let it fuck you all over, and I can't stand to watch that. Definitely not from no motherfuckers I fuck with, gang. That's why I always get on this toolbox and I drop these jewels for you niggas and these messages for you niggas to keep your motherfucking head up, gang. No matter what nobody telling you, nigga, you is you. You probably better than half them niggas who, who you vibing with. You probably better than half them niggas who you be looking up to trying to get some approval from. And I already told you in a couple videos back, you don't need no approval from nobody but God, gang. That's it. Some of you niggas don't understand that, though. Still do you. Man, you better wake up and smell a motherfucking coffee. Stop playing. 
This shit ain't for play. Your life ain't for play. At the end of the day, nigga, you got to honor God, you know, under everything you do. But at the same token, my nigga, you got to choose the side you're going to be on. And I don't think y'all ready to choose that side yet. Y'all niggas still out here playing pussyfoot on this earth, gang. It ain't. Come on, man. Get yourself together, man. You feel me? Real life, though. Get yourself together, gang. For real. Like, some of you niggas don't know that. That's why I'm telling you this right now. Like, you ain't got nobody by your side that's going to tell you this. You know what I'm saying? You probably don't. Some of you niggas don't even got family members who still love y'all. Some of you niggas out here left alone, gang, and I'm here to tell you, nigga, you ain't alone. We rocking this shit together if you believe it. And if you ain't riding with me, you against me, then fuck you. And that's how I always feel. That's how I always feel. I be telling motherfuckers that. And some people really can't understand the way I be, you know what I'm saying, coming off with the shit I be saying. Gang, look, man, I was raised a totally different way from you, just like everybody was raised totally different from me. But at the end of the day, my nigga, you know, I never judge a book by its cover, and I never judge you niggas by y'all cover. So y'all got to stop judging each other by the cover too, gang. You really got to be a stand-up man, man. Be somebody who really going to stand up for something that means something to your family, your, your, your distant family, your loved ones. Anybody you really, you know, feel sacred to or anybody who you feel like they're sacred to you. Cherish that, you know, and own that and stand up and make sure you're doing it for better, not for worse. Some of you niggas don't understand that. Right there, like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. Some of you niggas don't understand it because I'm seeing it time after time. Niggas dying, dropping niggas, backstabbing people, snaking each other. Like, gang, when you niggas going to get this shit together? Come on, man. When y'all going to get it together? Look, I ain't going to hold y'all too long, gang. I'm out of here, man. Let me uh finish editing these videos. And like I said, man, stay tuned, man, because I'm going to stay tapped in with you niggas. And I'm going to keep y'all up to date, like I said, on my streets, too. You know, up here at 414, at the end of the day, it's a lot of shit going on, a lot of killing going on up here, gang. I don't think, you know, that's that's something I want to be reporting right now. I ain't trying to bring nobody else down, gang. There's already too many motherfuckers down in the city. So, you know, we got to uplift the motherfucker, uplift our black culture, definitely. Our black men and women, our black kings and queens out there, y'all know who y'all is. And all you sucker butt motherfuckers, y'all stay away from the real motherfuckers who really trying to make a change and do something with themselves and help everybody else do something with themselves. Yeah, to the next video, though. I'm out.